stay in the bed. I feel like I'm in with the freezer air every time I unwrap the layer. <clears throat> yeah, we just let her in the mix for about like a year. But I mean, if you can stay in there for six months, then it's why can't they? Like it just happens. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. It doesn't feel like that. Like if it's like for a break, when I look at some, mm-hmm. and like how I hope this is still edible. Edible should be. Good, it may not be. <laughs> be it too. Like I get a, a small hint of like the presence of freezer, but it's not bad. Mm All right, family, we coming from Sammy's POV. Babe is back there. So currently uh, it is Friday and we are out here on Broad River. We're testing out this gas motor that Babe got not too long ago. It's our first time having a gas motor on the canoe. Usually we're using that lovely electric motor. Um, and we had a little snafu trying to set it up. Um, currently, I think the exhaust is facing towards Babe. And so it needs to be on the other side, but we've been testing it out and it, it gets us moving. It's really cool. It has like a four hour break in period. So it keeps going on and off and it's a little, it's a little shaky, shaky. Oh, shaky, shaky. But, um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, uh, we just lost our lovely GoPro. Um, for whatever reason, the mount just decided to abort mission and just eject it. Um, so, uh, sorry you guys probably won't be able to see our whole setup of the um canoe and us figuring out the fuel and all that stuff i was the chemist i was the resident chemist for today so i i i'm i i did that with the with the gasoline but let's 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 go over to big c see how he feels oh man my feelings are hurt right now it's, okay, it's gopro i just bought this gopro only had it for like two months it's okay, uh how you feeling about the motor? Man, we we luckily we got a, a seven at home I can use for a little bit. I can't. You have an eight too? Uh, where that at? That should also be at home. Oh, okay. I might have to use that because I lost two GoPros recently, and it's. I'm trying to continue recording, man. I'm trying to keep my YouTube career alive, but it's it's so tough right now. But anyway, man, uh, this gas engine is scary. You know what I'm saying? Is it's powerful i'm just right now my confidence is uh is uh based on these pieces of wood that i got here that is mounted to on the canoe like that's that's where my biggest worry lies um but outside of that i haven't opened it up all the way yet i've only you know kept it around you know half or in the half area uh 
but I'm gonna test it out. We're gonna test it out 100% before we get off the water today. I um I don't know, man. I gotta I gotta find a, another way to record. I don't think GoPro is sustainable for me anymore. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Mystery Walmart bait. I'm gonna get these another. I'm gonna get these another trial here. 
last time I tried these, the fishing is slowed down, so I don't think they got a good shot. But I always have a lot of luck with catfish here at this spot. So we're gonna try these out right now. So we we'll always keep shrimp in the right hand, blood, left hand. So we can go ahead and set a couple rods out, get them out there. You brought the blood spray? Blood spray too, blood spray in here too. We'll talk about that next though. Okay. What you got in this mysterious bucket? That's what we're gonna apply the blood spray to. Some old bait. Never really have good luck fishing with old, old bait. I've learned that recently catfish tend to prefer their bait to be fresh. Um, Worms despite, included? Um, huh? Worms included? Yeah, despite um rumors and what people say, catfish like fresh bait. They aren't so much bottom feeders, more so than there are opportunistic, opportunistic feeders. The catfish gets a bad rep. They're still gross. Yeah. Second to get these. What'd you say, babe? I was expecting a more rancid smell. But, uh. You don't really smell like anything to me. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and drop the, uh, blood cube over here. You said blood was on the left. Huh? This, there, this right here, everything's on the right right now. So there is no, oh. there's no finality here yet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's going to be uh, our shrimpies. Catfish jumping over there. Like I said, I always have a look at this spot. Alright. We said uh, shrimp was on the right. <coughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to throw shrimpies out. We're going to see what's up, man. Shrimp on this line. Blood on this line. Got the Catfish Pro. Catfish bait. Seeing if it's, seeing if it's worth any good. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Got the blood spray applied to our old cut bait. I'll throw this out here. Right out there. What's going on with the cubes? Uh, cubes, man, cubes. I've got no action so far. I don't even think we had a nibble, bite, scratch. I mean, I can I can check to see if they're still on there, mm -hmm. but I think they are. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So far, so far, Catfish Pro, you looking like a rookie. <laughs> Is that your thumbnail? <laughs> yeah. Your thumbnail need to be like holding all of them or something. Oh. And the blood spring. Angle. Huh? Is that a cue? Yeah. Got a cue. No activity. I'm gonna toss it on this side. <coughs> you said what? I said I came out here just to lose a GoPro. No, you came out here to test that little motor that could. Oh yeah, that too. I guess. No, I guess. Say again, babe. 
The load is working out all right, I guess. I guess. <laughs> it got you might as well be here. in a speed canoe. Yeah. I don't think the uh, I don't think the canoe is currently configured to be able to handle the the motor at full throttle. What do you mean? How would it need to be configured? back of the canoe almost go underwater when it's when it's about uh i mean that's what you see with these bigger boats they i'd be like dang they they in there oh no i'm talking about in there in there back, back, back of the canoe be <laughs> getting wet at the top really <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that's at what speed that's about from zero from zero probably about 70% turn to high. <laughs> we, ain't, we can't even experience full speed right now. <laughs> so you feel like you be you swimming a little bit? You get too close to my comfort. <laughs> I, I've not tried it out yet. I may, I may give it a few seconds <laughs> on the way back and see. Uh -oh. but, uh, Am I going to be in the air in the front? <laughs> nah, shit, that's, a, that's what we trying not to do. That's, that's how all these fools be looking on the water. Yeah, yeah they be skating. And they be like at a perfect like angle, looking like <laughs> like <laughs> that's fun. Fifths, ran through about four fifths of the gas, still got about a fifth left. Uh, kind of sucks, <laughs> but um, yeah, it does kind of suck because I know one charge in the trolling motor, I can get all the way up to the islands and back and still have about a fifth of a charge left. And we didn't even get that far with this. Uh, so we probably need one tank to get up there, one tank to get back. Um, but I mean, it's fun. It's cool to have a gas powered, you know, propulsion. It moves faster. Yeah. It's louder, more exciting, more dangerous. You know, you love danger. Everybody loves danger. Mm, danger for breakfast. Danger rolls. <laughs> All right, so. Let's go ahead and get up out of here, call it a day, man. We got other stuff to do. Yeah. All righty. All righty. Take a little break. Just getting started. But I want to make sure that that's garlic right there. Gotta make sure that garlic paste get mixed in them onions. And the mushrooms. They're nice and good. Nice and good. Yeah. Boy, it seems like these steaks are rolling right now. We'll give everything some time. So it just got on there. Need a little beverage, huh? You mind whipping us up some mojito? So I'm sitting here reading Crying in H Mart. And so far it's pretty good. I'm only on page. Mm, 31 out of a, I, I believe like 240 something, 230, 239 pages. But something hit me and I realized that like in the past I have always considered myself a heavy romance reader, a heavy really just romance, whether it's historical romance, sci-fi with romance, just like 
feeling like I always wanted to read something with romance in it. But so far this year, I'm realizing that I tend to actually really enjoy literary fiction. Like even when there's no hints of romance in it, even when there's not really adventure to be told, I really enjoy reading a writing style where people, it's more so like stream of consciousness um, and people are just talking about their experiences in life and how they view other people, especially when a story goes back and forth from different people's point of view. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm not even 30 pages into this book and I'm really enjoying, and it's a memoir and I don't think I've ever read a memoir. Like I would never consider myself someone to read anything that didn't have romance in it um, or wasn't um, fiction. This is the first nonfiction book I'm reading since I read one breath which was about free diving so yeah I just wanted to come on and say that um, I've read a lot of books lately a lot of books that I did not capture but I will I will try and sit down and go through all of the books that I've read and give just like a brief synopsis and my brief take on them and how I felt about them but yeah um if you guys don't know, my goal is to read 42 books this year, and I'm already at 50, so I, I think we can do it, and I think we can actually hit above 52, so we'll see. But for now, let's get back to... I